Hi guys, this is Asha and this is my review of the mid team MIUI hybrid ROM for the Galaxy Note GT N7000. So guys, I've been using this ROM for about a week now, uh, and you know if you if you've used MIUI in the past in the past, uh, you'll still uh, I mean this ROM will still surprise you in a few ways. So first, let me start with you know what you get with this ROM. You get the basic MIUI interface. Uh, and uh, you know if you're not familiar with MIUI uh, how this works is you don't have a uh, app draw uh, it's more like the iPhone you know as in you've got different home screens and all your apps go directly onto the home screens I have had no issues with this and right from the lock screen everything is different so this is the lock screen and uh, you know you can boot straight into the camera or calls or messages or unlock or double tapping on this will take you straight to the uh, music player if you have music playing already or it'll take you to the FM so that's again a neat little addition so let me just open it up so guys uh, again you know your basic ICS features work fine you just swipe to close notifications and you also have your notifications down here and uh, you can also change it uh, that is uh, going into status bar settings you can make it either compact like the way you saw it or you know make it page wise as in when you pull it down you get a page full of notifications including your brightness settings and so on this is your notifications and these would be your toggles I'm just turning off bluetooth here uh, and it's pretty good you've got a lot of customization options as you can see uh, including the toggles and so on now if going into settings uh, you get your usual uh, usual ice cream sandwich settings and again guys all the ICS features work you have no issues with uh, with a few MIUI ROMs you have uh, issues with speakerphone and so on the speakerphone works fine uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth perfect connectivity no disconnects uh, A2DP and AVRCP that is you know audio over the blue over Bluetooth and uh, audio video remote control that is you know uh, skipping tracks pausing and playing attending calls uh, with over Bluetooth everything works fine no issues at all and here's the status bar settings that we just saw and uh, you get quite a few other settings as well uh, again battery as far as battery life goes this is amazing I'll get to it in a minute you've got your yeah uh, you have some extra settings like you know disable the power button on lock screen or long press back to kill an app so uh, you know and a lot of things are done different like the music app you know it looks totally different uh, not the stock one that you get with Touchwiz uh, and again the gallery app okay now talking about uh, what do you say talking about your battery uh, this was on very low usage guys uh, it went from zero to about 10 percent it took, took around three days and eight hours for this and uh, as you can see there have been long periods of time when I've not used the phone uh, it was very minimal I was on the phone for say four hours at max about three to four hours of Bluetooth music uh, and that's pretty much it but Bluetooth was on all the time and uh, I'm not saying that you will be getting about you know what is this 48 68 72 about 80 hours you're not going to be getting 80 hours out of charge but anything over around 30 hours is very easily achievable for moderate usage uh, this was just some amazing stats I just thought I'll show you guys uh, again I do agree that I've not really used the phone much and this is me in cold fusion anyway guys uh, again as you saw the gallery app is pretty different as well and you get a file expo explorer along with this uh, you get all your basic apps uh, one advantage one thing that sets this MIUI uh, ROM apart from the rest is the usage of the S Pen you do not get the premium suite uh, but, or my, the my story app but however you do get your full S Pen functionality as in tapping and holding on the screen will take a screenshot and uh, double tapping will okay uh, you know and your touch sensitivity is there it is pressure sensitive uh, that's what I meant to say uh, the pressure sensitivity is there that the, the S-Pen is not just replacing uh, your finger input but this is the S-Memo feature the S-Pen feature ported right out of TouchWiz so holding the button and double tapping will open up S-Memo 
and again as you can see the pressure sensitivity is there so these are decent features uh, apart from this guys what actually sets this ROM apart again another feature that sets it apart is the ability uh, to jump back to touch if needed and uh, Nova launch also comes uh, you know pre-installed with the ROM so just you've got the option for touch with launcher just tapping on it will take you to touch with so again you've got your applications and stuff uh, so that's pretty decent and again if you're bored with touch with launcher as well you can always go back to I mean always get Nova, Nova launcher which comes pre-installed with the ROM like it like I told you guys and that's a pretty decent launcher as well uh, guys again for those who have actually seen my uh, installation video and you know felt that this ROM has a bit of lag no uh, it does not lag it's just for the first few seconds after boot after which the ROM is really really fast and snappy enough going back to MIUI home uh, so that's pretty much it guys uh, the ROM is pretty smooth and stable I've had no force closes at all uh, the Play Store works well the works as it should no issues I'm not connected to Wi-Fi right now uh, anyway uh, the battery life is amazing on this ROM and uh, all your features work so let me just quickly reboot the phone once and uh, let's run a few uh, what do you say uh, benchmark tests to see how the phone fares Alright guys, we are up here. As you saw, the boot times are also very good. So I'm just going to my UI home here. Alright guys, running the Quadrant Standard first. Run full benchmark. Let me make sure that Wi-Fi is on. We have the results and uh, hitting about 3700 which is really good for the Galaxy Note and I'm going back and running Antutu benchmark so going into test default start test SD card So there we have it guys, the score is 6602. So that's pretty much it guys for the review of the mid theme or uh, MIUI ROM for the Galaxy Note. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and flash this ROM, you can click on, uh, I mean you can find the link to my installation tutorial uh, in the description uh, and I will have it annotated it somewhere around this video I guess. So you can use that as well. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section. You guys can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or you can email me directly. All my contact details are in the description again. Uh, and once again, guys, you know, if you want something different, if you want a different ROM from the regular stream of CM9, AOSP or Touchless based ROMs, uh, the uh, MIUI, the Milk Team MIUI is a very good ROM to try. It's extremely fast and stable. And on top of it, it gives you a great battery life. And if you need TouchWiz, you can also swap to that. So you really have nothing to lose with this form. The installation is pretty safe as well, and the kernel is safe as well. So uh, if you're looking to try something new, I would suggest, or if you want something very stable, again, I would suggest you to try this form out. Uh, and you know, the regular host of, you know, I kind of got into this due to the, I mean, during the review, I don't remember if I really mentioned it, but you know, the regular, issues that you face with a few MIUI ROMs like you know broken speaker function some drop you know disturbance with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi none of those issues are present it's as good as any other ICS ROM out there so 
that's pretty much it guys so before you go make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and if you guys do want to help me out uh, use my links to Amazon in the description the one that says Galaxy Note or Galaxy Note accessories uh, just go through the link and purchase whatever you want doesn't necessarily have to be Galaxy Note related stuff if there's anything you want to order online use those links and I get to make a few cents to a few bucks of every purchase you make so that is if you guys want to help me out so that's pretty much it. I guess I'm done here, guys. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you soon with more videos. Till then, bye bye. Have a great day.